Good morning, fellow Pokemon card players. Now, it turns out the trading card game is still as addictive as it was when I was a child. So I've gone and bought three more packs. So the first pack I got was obviously the Mini Tin series. So this time I've got the same one again, but a Bulbasaur one. And I've also got a three pack here with the Brilliant Stars with a Blastoise. That was what attracted me in the first place. And I got a Pokeball as well. Um, I believe this is a Series 7 Pokeball. But um, yeah, so we're just going to have a little look through these and sort of see what we get really. Uh, now again, I'm not really sure what to look for, what's good, what's bad. So uh, if it's shiny, then it's probably good in my eyes. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. So let's try and get into this Pokeball here. I think I'm going to balls this one up. We shall see. Right, so how do we get into this then? Do we just put it apart? Turns out we can't even open the ball. Oh, there we go. Ball is open. Right. So in here we've got a coin. We've got a, I think it's another Dragonite coin. It is. We've got two of those now. Um, Right, so moving on from there, what else have we got? We've got three booster packs. So we've got a Vivid Voltage there, a Cosmic Eclipse, and a Rebel Clash as well. Um, funnily enough, the Vivid Voltage did actually just get a PSA card. Uh, this one here, um, which is from this set, I believe. I think it's the one on the front there, Celebi. But, uh, so let's start with this one and let's sort of see what we get from there. Now again, I'm not entirely sure if this is... Uh, the same if I've got to put three cards behind or four cards, but uh, we'll have a have a little play. Now again, there's the code. Obviously, whoever wants to can pause the video and sort of have that code. Whoever wants to watch the video first, you're more than welcome to it. Okay, so we're going to pop four cards on the front. Or should we try that? And I think that's done right. So we've got a Psychic Energy, a Shuckle, a Nuzleaf there, Memory Capsule, a Woobat, an Aracute, he looks very happy with himself, doesn't he? Just swimming about. Dot on a nice little stroll through the forest. Fan P, now that's adorable, with a little teddy, also teddy there. Right, we've got a Shuppet as well, just looks like a used tissue. <laughs> a Sandile again, no, I actually got this one on one of the last ones, this looks like a reverse holly there as well, which is quite nice. And we've got a oh, shiny Snorlax as well, which looks quite adorable. That'd be a nice one to keep as well. Right, so that is the Vivid Voltage set done. Let's move on to the Cosmic Eclipse. Now bear with me again, obviously my names for things are not as good as they probably once were. I'm not aware of all the Pokemon things now, but uh, it's going to be an adventure. So this is the next code as well. You're more than welcome to have that there. So I'll hold that there for a couple seconds. There we go. Right, so let's do the same again. Should we go for four on the back? Okay, so we have a lightning energy as well. That looks a bit unusual to what it used to be with the background. We've got a Mimikyu as well. Those creep me out, if I'm honest. A Bestite. Haven't seen one of those before. So if I, I might get into the game inside of the, um, of the cards, but we'll have to wait and see from there. I might need a lot of help from the community for that. We've got a Lilip, a Litz Leo as well. A coughing, a nose pass as well, just being all nosy. We've got a snow runt as well. A rock rough. Now that looks adorable. We'll just see a little household dog. Lovely. We've got a, oh, this looks nice, a guzma and hala. Again, apologies if the name is wrong, but that looks nice and shiny. That looks good. A tag team. So I haven't seen this before either, so that's obviously new to me. And wow, that looks fantastic. So I presume this is what's the, the rainbow rare, hyper rare, something like that. But a Charizard and Brakeson, 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 GX card. Now that looks beautiful in my opinion. So I'm going to have to have a little keep on that. I'm not sure how much it's worth or if it's good or bad, but it looks fantastic. Just for me, anything Charizard is fantastic. So let's move on to Rebel Clash. Let's have a little look at what we get in here then. Let's have a see. Do, do, do. Right, so we've got another code there. So there we go. You're more than welcome to have that. Moving on from there. Okay, it's four to the back. Let's try this again. We've got a energy there. Is that steel energy? Again, apologies. Not entirely sure. Energy's energy. Um, a Chatot. 
That looks like a cartoon shit hot as well. A scoop up net. A palpitoad. Palpitoad. A trubbish as well. It's a bit of a rubbish Pokemon, isn't it? <laughs> a helioptile as well. That looks a nice little sort of a re um, reptile electric type thing, I presume. That looks quite nice. Again, I think I've seen them in the games, but nothing in, in cards wise. Um, a hone edge as well. It's looking sharp. A Litwick as well. They always look quite happy with themselves, don't they? Yeah, we've got a Corsola as well. A Galarian one. Now that's just quite sad, really. I believe that was the was like one of the corals from the second generation. And obviously the white around it is called the bleaching, just like it is in Global Warming. We've got a Dracloak. I do like the look of that. That's like quite nice with a reptile. Uh, electric thing that looks very nice. Electric psychic. What am I about? And we've got a Toxtricity as well. Again, the, my name in on this, guys, is atrocious, so I do apologise. Um, but that's everything from the Pokeball as well. Obviously, I think you get to keep the Pokeball and you can pop your cards in there. So let's go on to the. Should we go on to the tin? Let's go on to the tin. Right, so this is a Bulbasaur one. I did do a video on my very first tin opening. Um, a few days ago now which was the Charmander one because I understand that you can get many different ones of these they've all got different arts within them so let's have a little look what's in the Bulbasaur one it's, clearly it's not my day for opening things today but there we go right so we've got a hey, Dragonite coin again nice let's have three of them why not spoil ourselves a hey, full art card as well so I did notice this on before I didn't mention it in the video because I didn't realize but um, there's actually a few of these cards uh, which will link together to form a, a bigger image as well. Okay, so packs wise, let's have a look at what we've got inside the packs. We can take them out gently. We've got a Vivid Voltage again with a nice chubby Pikachu on the front and a Darkness Ablaze with a very angry Charizard on there as well. But uh, I forgot to open the back of here as well because obviously on the back. I think this is the actual um, art uh, thing which makes it from all of the cards because you can see there the Bulbasaur is on the far left so I think you sort of link up to do if you have every single um, tin so let's close that tin up and let's move on to let's take the first one up Vivid Voltage let's have a look right so I believe these are the same you put four cards to the back but we shall see there is another code for people Feel free to pause, stay tuned till after the break. Okay, and moving on from there. One, two, three, four. Let's have a little look. We've got a leaf energy. Can't go wrong with the leaf energy. A ferro thorn. It looks very spiky. We've got a dusclops as well. He actually gets glasses half bright because he only needs the one eye. Um, a rocky helmet. Always go straight over my head, those ones. A Nincada as well. Now these are always quite adorable. I do remember being very, very difficult to evolve these in the game to a Shed Ninja. Um, a Pippapec as well. It's like the new Pidgey, I guess. We've got a Poochiena. Again, just like a dog Pokemon, which looks very nice. I do like the sort of cartoon style of things. We've got a Blitzel as well. It's like a Zebra. Electric Zebra. Let's go with that. A Rockruff as well. Another dog, which is good. Oh, we've got two rock right exactly the same right next to each other. What are the odds of that? There we go. But one's obviously reverse hollow. And we've got a colossal V. Now this, I presume it's good. But uh, it's like a full art card. Um, he looks very happy as well. Now that looks very nice. I'm quite happy with that as well. So we've had two good pulls, in my opinion, anyway. Whether they're good pulls or not, I'm sure you guys would be able to tell me. But uh, so let's have a little look at what we've got in this pack. Okay, so... Here is the next code as well. There we go. Okay, so we can move on from there onto the cards. So let's pop four of these on the front. And let's have a little look. We've got a water energy. We haven't had one of those yet. We've got a cape of toughness. We've got a vibraver. Vibraver? Yeah. A simicea. I think that's how you say it. We've got a Spinarak as well. Got to love a spider. I knew a spider once. Lovely bloke. Web designer. Um, 
a Larvester. It's just in the name, really. It's going to be Lava and it's going to be Fire. So we've got a Hippopotus. Now, I wonder what, po what uh, real life animal that's based on. Probably an elephant. Let's go on the next one. We've got Go Golat. Galat. Galat. Okay. He looks quite intense. But uh, let's move on to the next one. It's Skitty as well. So we've had a lot of the animals. We've had hippos. We've had dogs. We've had now a kitty as well, which looks quite adorable. We've got a pan paw there as well, which is shiny. I presume that's what a reverse hollow is because the hollow's on here as opposed to the actual picture itself. But that looks good. And we've got a... Oh, my God. How am I going to say this? Sentis Corch VMAX. Now that looks, again, that looks fantastic. I don't know if these pools are really good or if I'm just lucky or if they're just really bad, but uh, they look really good. They look full art. They look nice and shiny. I'll go over all the um, best cards in a bit. That I think anyway that we've got the best cards, but let's move on from there. Now that's everything from the tin and the ball. So let's move on to the blister pack, are they called? Let's call it the blister pack with the three three um, three um boosters in there with the brilliant stars, Aletheon and the Blastoise. So at least we know for certain we're actually getting a different coin this turn. As long as it doesn't change when I open it, but uh, let's hope for the best. Okay, so let's try and get in here. It's really not my day today for getting into things, but uh, there we go. Come on up, open up to me, let's go. Okay, I'm just making hell of a mess. Right then, so we can now get in here somehow. Probably not the nicest way of getting in here. Can you tell that I haven't done these opening videos before? Maybe. Right, so it looks like there's another code in there as well. We'll go through that. Now this coin feels a lot bigger as well. Right, and we've got a... Through that, let's get rid of that. Right, we've got a Leafion. Now we knew we were going to get that from the front. Now that looks adorable. It was always one of my favourite EV evolutions as well. Um, this is the code, so I presume this will get you the coin and the Leafion as well. Let's move on from that. Okay, so this is the coin. It actually looks a lot bigger than the um, than the other ones. Uh, you can see we're about two or three times the size, which is nice. Got a lot of Blastoise. Uh, again, Squirt was always my starter. Okay, so we've got three brilliant stars with different artworks here. Let's make a start on this one. Let's have a little look. See. Da, 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 da. Okay, so. Oh, this is the same thing again. So here is the code for everyone that wants to have that. So it really is going to be whoever watches the video first is going to get this every time. And uh, I know I've only got like five views on the other video, but uh, one of you five people might be lucky. So um, let's start. We've got the fire energy. Now this looks totally different to what they used to be um, when I was a lot younger. Um, with the fire coming around it as well, it does look quite nice. I do like it. A Staravia, again, I'm just going to call that Pidgeotto, which is the new Pidgeotto. Um, we've got a Monferno as well. It just looks like a monkey. Yeah, fire monkey. Okay, Gloria as well, which is quite cute. Yeah. We've got a Thor, Thor, throw, throw, probably throw, because he looks like a martial arts and he'd probably throw you. Um, a Magmar as well. Now, that artwork is fantastic. That almost looks sort of Christmassy. Um, Father Christmas is now Magmar this year, kids. Um, so, Star You as well. Again, the artwork on these is very, very different. They're not sort of consistent. There's either cartoon or there's not. Uh, this one also looks quite realistic with the sort of pebbles around as well. That looks very nice. A Burmy. Looks like three Burmies there. Looks like one of them's just told a, a dirty joke. Um, we've got a Sork as well. So I presume these two is a bit like um, Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan as well with the two different ones there. We've got a Beedoff as well. Nice little bee. So we're getting all the animals today, I've noticed. And again, this is like the reverse hollow side. And finally, we've got the Magmorta. See, I didn't know till re recently that obviously Magmar can now evolve into Magmorta. Now he looks like an absolute unit. Um, again, the artwork on these are fantastic. So that's it for the pack number one. So let's move on to pack number two. Okay, so I'm going to be showing the card again for people that would like to have a look. There we go. One, two, three, four to the front. Let's have a look. So first up, we've got a Fight Energy. I presume Fight Energy is that what it's called? Atropius as well. That again looks like a bit like a Diplodocus to me. 
or any Brachiosaurus dinosaurs, which is nice. A clay doll, very nice. A fresh water set. Did, did they run out of things for this? It's literally just a cart and water. But there we go, that actually looks quite good actually to help in, in battles. Um, Boizel? Boizel? Boizel. Again, I always like this in the games. It's quite good. Um, Horlucha as well. See, things like this should make me think of Natural Libre. But uh, there we go. Oh, it looks like we've got another magma further on. We've got another one of these, a throw. throw. Uh, it looks quite nice. It looks very mad. Trying to trying to cut a tree down. Uh, magma. Again, we love the, uh, the cartoon there as well. It looks like nice attacks there. Let's move on from that. Another star you. This is very much the same. Looks to be a very similar pack. Uh, Sigalef. Looks like there's like an unknown stuck to his head, but that's about as far as I, I know. Um, again, a nice little reverse hollow on that. And finally, a star raptor. So we've gone locked every single evolution for this one. So if we wanted to make a deck, we probably could. Um, it looks like a very cool, like like an emo phase Pidgeot. <laughs> but. Uh, Let's move on from there onto the last pack of the video. Let's have a little look at what we're gonna get in here. Right, so last pack we have. This is the final code. It'd be helpful if I did it the right way. There we go. And let's move on to what we're actually gonna get. Do, do, do. Right, so first up is a water energy. Can't go wrong with that. A Pachirisu, Pachirisu? Pachirisu, we'll go for that, like a squirrel. Uh, Luxio, nice little artwork on that as well. Um, hit him on top, see, see what I mean? All this artwork is completely different. It's very inventive, I do like the look of it. Um, we've got a, another weasel. Why do they always do this? The specifically hard ones to say, look. Um, Gibble. Now he looks very happy. He's just seen a new toy in the kids' store, probably. Um, or a new Lego set. A trap inch as well. Just there. Is he wearing a diaper or a tank top? Who knows? Um, an execute as well. Now that's a, an excellent card right there. Um, <laughs> I apologize in advance. <laughs> a Starly as well. So that would go if we wanted to make that deck with the other cards. A Lapras. Now I always did like a Lapras, but they were always quite happy. Now this one looks quite sad. But um, looks a lovely looking card, beautiful artwork with the corals in the background and a nice reverse hollow there. And final card is the Torterra. Now I do like the sort of shine on that as well. It looks like a sort of sunbeam shining down on it. Um, very, very nice looking card there. But there we go guys, that's everything from me. So ultimately I think the two best cards that we got were the Charizard and this one here. Obviously I'm not really sure, I'll probably take some Googling, but um, they look very good to me. But thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure, and hopefully catch you up soon. Toodles.